what is going on guys welcome back to investing society today we're going to be going over decentraland what is going on with the price because we are sitting around 315 currently from a top high of 591 that's when it squeezed i believe that was when the news of the what was it 2.4 million dollar land was bought i believe that was the price but then we did have a drop down uh bottom that's the support uh 470 then it went back up to 515 broke that support and then found a new support at 390 bounced back but it couldn't hold that support either and it went to 370 broke that and now we're sitting around a support which was a support of 323 but then now we dropped to 315 which is a like a concern if you definitely bought at the top around four or five dollars but in my opinion this could either go two ways either the metaverse the whole news about the whole metaverse about facebook microsoft all the hype behind the metaverse dies down and then we hit back of a support of maybe 267 or we could bounce back here of a support and then go back up to three maybe 370 and then go back up to four and then bounce back from there but it all depends on news especially the central land moves heavily on news about of course buying land because without it you know the central land is pretty much pointless right anybody could do a, a little game and and you know anybody could uh you know play it anybody could create that basically why not just go to roblox right but what makes them special is the actual cryptocurrency the nfts what makes the valuable you know of the land because if you you could own whatever you want, but if you ha if you don't have a proof of stake, then it really is pointless. But that's what the central land makes it, you know, special because of that million dollar worth of land and actually having and owning that land. So if we don't get news like this, especially uh, around the central land, because I believe if Sandbox moves, the central land will move just because they're pretty much the same thing. But at the same time, you know, they are you know separate uh you know metaverses but a metaverse mega yacht that just sold for six hundred and fifty thousand uh expensive nft sold in the sandbox virtual world which we had this and then we have the virtual land that was sold for 2.4 million i believe uh so if we don't get if we stop getting news like this and then we have people selling and, and a lot of people can't cash out different things like that bad news for dissension i could drop the price down to twos maybe even back to ones but right now i'm still bullish on on metaverse and decentraland i believe that they're still the beginning and i love these prices because i do see decentraland being the hundred dollar coin in in two three years uh of being the top dog in the metaverse but as of right now you know you should have concern but in my opinion i'm very long on this and any time it drops to a new support i buy in the dip so 323 i am waiting if it hits 250 260 i'm definitely gonna uh, buy in the dip right there but then uh, i'm gonna hold off and and see because this is a big gap and if it goes down that then you know there's something wrong with the central land but at the same time you know i'm still bullish on it let me know you guys' opinion on what you guys think moving forward in the central land is gonna be do we see five bucks in a month do we see 10 bucks in a year let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video